are four of Donald Trump's children. I'm sorry, three of them. Uh, we've got Ivanka, Tiffany, and Don Jr. Guys, how y'all holding up? Ivanka, we'll start with you. Um, how you feel about tomorrow? I feel incredible. I feel so energized today. I was with Tiffany. We were in Michigan. Um, then we were in two stops in Virginia. And now we're here in New Hampshire. And I will tell you that the spirit and the enthusiasm and the energy and the love and the support has been so tremendous. So we feel very, very good. Yeah, it's been a really a family effort. Very I know good. you've been. And Don's working the least. I noticed that he's only doing like five or six <laughs> stops a day. Oh, <laughs> I've only done seven or eight hundred thousand miles in the last few days. Yeah, and no. he doesn't ever let us forget it. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, is that right? He's, you, he's, like, you know I'm not with my five kids right now, right? You know, the funny thing is I say, hey, I'd be texting Don. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm here, but I'm flying here, 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 and here. I'll have a minute in, in two days from now. Uh, how you feeling, Don? <laughs> yeah. I, listen, I feel great. I mean, the, the warmth and the outpouring that we're getting from people, these you know, disaffected Americans that haven't had a voice in generations. I mean, they see that look of you know, hope in my father and, you know, watching them and watching them react to his message and even our message candidly when we're speaking in these places. Uh, it's really special. It's changed us a lot, I think, throughout the process. It's been a real growing process. It's easy to get glib. It's easy to take things for granted. And I think we were raised not to do that. But even still, when you see real Americans coming up to you this way, it's awesome. Tiffany, I know you've been out a lot and you've been working hard for your dad. How do you feel about uh, the process so far? It's just been amazing, honestly. It's so inspiring to see so many people, you know, get behind this movement. And, you know, everyone's working hard, and now it's up to everyone getting out there and voting. Yeah. Have, all right, when I look at the polls and I look at the Electoral College, Donald, I'll throw this to you, it is neck and neck. Is it nerve-wracking? Where do you feel your, your dad breaks through? Uh, look, I think your dad's up. He's obviously up in Iowa. I like his numbers in North Carolina. I like his numbers so far early in Florida. Florida is going to be a two point race, though, either way, at the end of the day. Um, and Ohio looks pretty good for your dad. And now you got to get to those final states. Which states are you feeling yeah. the best about, well, considering you've been to all of them and then some? You know, I, I think we're making a serious play in New Mexico. I think we're making a serious play and pushing in Colorado. Uh, I was in Michigan uh, earlier today. Now I'm New Hampshire, and we're going back to Michigan later on tonight. But I was in Michigan today, uh, and, and man, the feeling is really good there, too. I mean, so I think we can put some states into play that aren't supposed to be in play. So I think that can change the map. I think that could really change the dynamic of what we feel tomorrow night. I think it go a lot later uh, than perhaps a lot of people are thinking. And so there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. But there's states in play that aren't supposed to be in play. And it's because we're reaching out the real Americans who haven't had that voice. You know, and Ivanka, Sean, I, I would just say to all of your viewers, turnout is so important. So we hope everyone gets out and votes. Like you said, it will be close. Um, but the response to my father's message has been so overwhelmingly positive. So we encourage everyone to get out tomorrow and, and really vote because every vote matters. I'm gonna, I'll ask specifically, how do you think in any way, and I've seen a change in your dad from my perspective, but I, that, you know, that's, I've known your dad a long time. Have you seen a change in your father? Any of you that want to weigh in? Oh, 100%. What is the change, Ivanka? I think there's, you can't go through this process. It's fundamentally changed me. You meet so many people and you hear their stories and they're incredible stories. They're heartwarming stories and then you hear devastating stories and it's the fuel that motivates you and I see it every day. Look, yesterday my father was in six states. It's almost, you know, it's, he's like a machine, but he's um, buoyed and fueled by the energy of the people and by their belief in yeah. him. Um, as an agent of change. And look, 70% of this country believes that we're headed in the wrong direction. And he knows what to do to get the country back on track. And the excitement and the belief in the potential of Trump leadership is, um, is amazing to him. And he's, he's so encouraged by it. And uh, it means so much to him. And he'll never let, he'll never let Americans sit down. Tiffany, you see a change in your dad? I think every day he continues to get more inspired by the American people and more touched and 
it really is fueling him to, you know, go out there and really want this and really want to make a difference for all of us. Yeah, and by the way, he is, is working. You know, I think he does like eight thing. states to Hillary's two. Uh, he's certainly like the energizer. <laughs> uh, you, you can't even, Sean, you can't even compare the two. And I mean, and that's the way he's going to fight for the American people, you know. Hillary's fought for special interests. She's fought for the every, every elite class you can get. And this is what this election is. This is a rare and unique chance to bring an outsider into yeah. Washington, D.C., someone who's willing, able, and ready to take on the D.C. cartel and break it up. Because candidly, as conservative as I am, and you know me well enough, both sides have failed us. This Big is really time. about insider versus outsider, and we need an outsider to break up this system. Well, he talks about He's draining the swamp. to nobody other than the American people. You know, and it is interesting. Very, very hard for all of us. Hillary does need Jay-Z dropping the N-word and F-bombs and Beyonce and the Obamas and Bruce Springsteen to get a crowd. Um, and it is interesting yeah. that your dad is filling up arenas all around the country. All right, we have a couple more minutes with Ivanka, Tiffany, Donald Trump Jr. right after the break as we continue. As we continue on Hannity, we continue with the children of GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump uh, Jr., Ivanka, and Tiffany. All right, Don, let me ask you this question because I know you and I talk a lot about politics and I've known you now for a while. You know, you watch what James Comey has done here. We don't even know if an investigation is ongoing into the Clinton Foundation and the pay to play uh, scandal. We've learned through WikiLeaks, CNN is asking the DNC questions for your father. We know that they really screwed over Bernie Sanders. We know that CNBC, MSNBC, the New York Times, almost the entire media establishment has been against your father and now we can prove it. Is that hard to yeah. discover all of the corruption at this level? Well, listen, it's been going on. It's been following our opponent for decades. I mean, this isn't anything new. The stuff that's more recent is more troubling because it's actually in our face. And perhaps to me, as an American, what's more troubling is that so few people on her side actually care. I ask you, with the, whether it be the WikiLeaks stuff, whether it's certainly the email scandal, if you, Sean, me, any of our kids, any of our grandkids, any of your viewers' kids and grandkids did the same thing that Hillary Clinton did, they'd all be in jail. Okay? Yeah. No one on either side of the aisle would even contest that, in my opinion. She's incredibly reckless, this, that, and the other, but nothing's going to happen. And that's what the American people are rebelling against. They're rebelling against that double standard, that standard that is held for the elite and the standard that's held for everyone else. That's so much of what this election is about. So it's not so much about the results. It's about the way those things are handled and managed. That's what's scary to me as an American. Yeah, it scares me, too. I, you know, I've been in radio my 30th year. 21 years now on Fox, and I got to tell you, as much as I believe government was corrupt, I never knew it was this bad. Drain the swamp is probably the most appropriate way to, to, to deal with that. All right, last question for all of you. I know you guys got to run. Ivanka, how hard is it to read a newspaper, to watch a news program, and people hammering your dad every day, but they don't really hammer Hillary, and there's so much that even the WikiLeaks scandal that the media just ignored. How hard is it to hear that about your own father? It's very hard. We're not a family of politicians. So, you know, I, I, I will say on a personal level, I was probably a little bit naive when my father declared his candidacy as to what it meant to go through this experience. And it is incredibly hard. There's so much editorializing. There's a lot of fiction that's put out into the universe about my father and, and, and our family. So it is hard. But I will say, for all of that and for all of that negativity, it's so counterbalanced by the love and the enthusiasm and the hope um, and the belief of the tens of millions of Americans who support my father. And that's also been an amazing thing for me to live through and experience. So I'll go to a rally such as this one tonight in Manchester, and there's so much heart in the room. So yeah. that is the other side of the pendulum, and ultimately that's much more meaningful to me. All right, we're going to have notice. Last word, Tiffany. It's, you know, it, it was hard, but we know who our father is, and I think no tabloid can write anything that will make us doubt that. So we know the truth, yeah. and luckily we're... It helps to know the man. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, and I wish, that's the one thing I wish that everyone could experience is the man that's the father, the man that's the grandfather, really the man that's been the employer to th tens of thousands of people. 
you know, those people know him so well, and I wish the American people saw I it. I think they see it the occasionally. I think they see it in his sense of humor. I think they see it there. But if those people all saw the way he really is, you know, off of a stage, there's a know, great at a dinner table. There's a great video. Uh, it's on I, I my think Twitter it would move feed. a lot of people about your dad hiring a former boxer. I'll, I'll urge people, I'll retweet it again tonight. Listen, good luck to uh, all of you. By the way, Ivanka and Tiffany, that guy that's to your left, he's running for office one day. I just want to give you a heads up in case you want to distance yourself from him now. You may want to watch his Twitter. Your decompression from politics. I don't, it's not happening. I told you this. It's not happening. All right, guys, good to see you. Uh, best of luck tomorrow. Appreciate you being with us. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thanks, Sean. All right, when we come back, we have more Hannity. Right